Okay, for the next portion now, we're going to try to insert columns. So please open up this file, columns.rbt file. Now inside this file itself, you will be able to find, under architecture ribbon, you will be able to find two types of columns, the structural columns and the architectural columns. Now let me explain the key difference here. Most buildings have columns. Okay, in Revit, the architect uh, there are two types: the architectural columns and structural columns. Architectural columns are typically the types of which they are column wraps with features that can be replaced with structural columns later by the structural engineer. So there are certain features, like for example, if you see in this diagram here, some of these features down here that can be inserted that probably will not happen in a structural column situation. Now the structural columns are the actual materials that will prop up the building and taking the load of the whole building. We are going to start with using the architectural columns. All right. So what we can do is we're going to click on column architectural. Okay. And with this, we can in a way if you pay attention here on this part, move with grids function here. Okay, what's going to happen is we can place it anywhere first for now. Okay, now if we now place it at an intersection here, it will automatically snap to the columns intersection and you'll be locked towards. Now notice if I drag and move this column or I move this grid the column moves along with it as well yeah next thing is I want to pay attention to the height options when we are creating it as well so if I'm clicking on the architectural column again now there are choices of which we can begin to designate very very importantly here we want to pay attention to this option height and depth so what's going to happen is if I put this column as depth instead of height what's going to happen is it will look like it disappeared here but in reality it does not it became from erecting upwards to piling downwards so if we take a look at the 3D model now, in 3D view, you will find that instead of going the column going upwards, rising up this way, it now drops downwards this way. This is because I change it from height to depth. So I'm going to remove this and try again. This time round, I'm going to plant another column here, architectural column. This time round, I will put it to height instead and I will change it from level 1 to level 2 so when I click on this you will find that now the columns are erected upwards already so I'm going to close this view and go back to plan now okay and I'm going to relocate this column by moving it to the intersection of the plan and I'll remove this so if you notice also, the nice part about the columns, the architectural columns, is it will blend into the walls as well. So it creates just nicely two lines here. Alright, you merge into the wall material. Like this. So let's take some time to complete this exercise by having all the columns inserted into the intersections of the grids itself. So here, we can work pretty fast with it. Just by clicking them this way. Alright, let's take some time to practice. 
Now after we are done inserting the architectural columns, it will be good to start inserting the structure as well. All right. So next we're going to try to insert the structural columns. We are going to go to column again and we're going to click on structural column now. So in doing this, what we can do is we can begin to click and be able to click at the insertion points or the intersection points of the grids itself. Now notice here, before we actually click to finalize the, lo the placement location, what we can do is we can, we can also press the space bar which will allow us to orientate the column itself if need be. Notice each time we do this, each time we press the space bar, the column position rotates. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one for now and so on. This is how we can then place it inside. Okay, that's one of the ways. Huh? Now, in a larger project situation, we may not want to do this part of the work like that because it is really tiring to have to insert uh, click by click. So what's going to happen is we will be able to insert one shot okay, using this function here. So let's try this under the architectural ribbon tab again, under columns, under structural columns again. Now make sure again the height and the depth placement that's correct and the height of which you want the columns to go up to is correct also. And with this, we are going to use this function called add grids. Okay. By clicking on this, once we do a crossing selection, meaning each time a crossing selection between two grids, once two grid lines are selected, Revit automatically recognizes the intersection points and it will insert a column in between. All right, let's try this. But now we're not going to just do one. We are going to do everything one shot this way. So in doing this, you will now find that we would be able to, okay, we will now be able to insert columns for all the grid intersections this way. And in doing that, before we finalize by clicking on finish here, we are able to press the space bar to make sure the orientation is correct. It is the orientation that we would want to have. Okay, so I'm quite happy having it this way. So I'm going to click on finish. And once we are done, we will be able to just delete away some of the columns that we do not need like that.